The iPhone 12 may be near, but an even more radical shift could be looming for the iPhone 13. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. We're about 3 or 4 months out from the iPhone 12's launch, but the perpetual smartphone rumor mill is already churning out leaks and rumors surrounding next year's iPhone 13. Of course, given the iterative nature of this industry, it's difficult to forecast Apple's trajectory two generations in advance when we don't know precisely everything about the iPhone 12. For as much as we've heard, with several months to go, certain aspects like pricing and software features can change in the final moments leading up to release. The best iPhones you can buy today iPhone SE 2020 review. The new king of cheap phones plus. I ditched Android for iPhone SE for a month, here's the pros and cons all that is to say, it's extremely early days to discuss iPhone 13 rumors, and so that classic warning of taking everything you see or hear with a grain of salt, is one to heed. That said, some of these rumblings clue us into fascinating design decisions for iPhones, but also send ripples through the smartphone industry as we know it. Here's everything we know about the iPhone 13 iPhone 13 release date If the iPhone 13 release date follows Apple's pattern for previous launches, we could see this device hit shelves on the fourth Friday of September 2021. That would be September 24. But the iPhone 12 release date is up in the air due to the coronavirus pandemic and may not be available until October or even November for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's possible that the coronavirus could delay the development of the iPhone 13, which would have an effect on the eventual release date. But at this point it's too early to tell. iPhone 13 design. Could it be portless? Imagine if the iPhone 12 was the last generation of Apple handsets to feature a physical charging port in every model. It's a shocking thought, but Apple could begin phasing out lightning ports, starting with one of the iPhone 13 models, and USB Type-C won't be there to replace it. Instead, a tweet from tipster John Prosser spells it out clear as day. There will be one port-free iPhone in 2021, it'll all go that way. Never USB-C, Prosser adds, killing some enthusiasts hopes that Apple would adopt the same standard as Android phones and the vast majority of other modern consumer electronics. The idea of a portless iPhone may sound a bit ridiculous, but ironically, it's become likelier ever since the European Union made moves to force all phone manufacturers to use a common port for charging. Lightning has been the company's go-to since 2012, when it was introduced alongside the iPhone 5. Rather than engineering future iPhones to work with the same interface as all Android phones at which point, Apple would stand to miss out on the very lucrative market of accessory licensing, that it's always enjoyed reason suggests that the company would rather ditch ports entirely and turn to Kai Induction as its common charging solution. Kai is, of course, the wireless charging framework shared by all smartphones releasing today. However, to do that, a portless iPhone will need to charge much faster without wires than the current models do. The iPhone 11 Pro's wireless charging Mac 0.5 watts around a quarter as quick as the new Warp Charge 30 wireless system in the new OnePlus 8 Pro. Even Google's oft-criticized Pixel 4 has faster wireless charging than the latest iPhones, at 11 watts. But what else could a port-free iPhone allow? Theoretically, eliminating the device's largest ingress point would improve durability and water resistance. It could also assist in making handsets thinner down the line, though given the rapidly accelerating size of batteries across the industry and the advent of especially energy-hungry 5G networks, it's probably a safer bet that iPhones in 2021 will be larger and perhaps thicker than those on sale today iPhone 13 notch and true depth camera The iPhone 11 series' iconic notch, which dates back to 2017's iPhone X, may be reduced into a narrower and more slender form for the upcoming iPhone 12 range. However, it's important to note that Apple supposedly experimented with ditching the notch entirely for its yet-to-be-released 2020 flagships, but that design has reportedly been tabled for future models.